insisted that their new look is right for the clothes. So next I'll bring you a roundup of how the models react to the new styles and how they're wearing their hair free and curly, pulled back in tight chignons or swirled in snake-like coils around their heads. Models from around the world are reveling in their newly fashionable long hair. They say it's prettier, more feminine and looks much better with the new short skirts and slim shapes. Some, like New York-based Anna Bailey, have always worn their hair long. But most of the other top models have been growing theirs for months. Some tell me they're even refusing to let the hairdressers trim split ends. Indian-born Kirat is one of them. It's growing rapidly and I hopefully even quicker. So suddenly I want long hair back again. I think we all went through this phase of short hair and it was fun and lively. But I think now especially the clothes are changing and they're becoming different and much more fun. So one wants to be extravagant, have hair, waves and have it lying on the pillow again. <laughs> Joan Sooners, who came to Paris from New Zealand to do the shows, says she lucked out with her long hair. When it was short, I was not here working, so it was not a problem. But long hair has always helped me for work, and long red hair even more so. Here in, uh, in Europe, it's, it's really helped me for my work. Often they take me just because I have long red hair. Polish boy Katarina has been letting her hair grow for four months. She tells me she felt it was time for a change. Do you like the way all the different hairstylists have been doing the hairs at the show? Uh, yes. Very nice, I do. Which ones particularly? I like Angara. <laughs> I think it's really my style and it goes really well with his uh, clothes. It's so feminine. It's really for, for us, you know, for women. When she was working just as a model, Eman wore her hair very short. But when she started acting in movies, she grew it long. Every time I went to an audition with a short hair, automatically everybody said she looks like a model. So I started growing my hair for the purpose for auditioning. Now all the models have long hair. They're still used to me after all these years with my hair pulled back. So they still pull it back, whether it's long or short. Dalma, who comes from Brazil, likes her hair long, but she keeps cutting the ends to make sure it stays in top condition. I mean, personally, I need sort of length. So I think it's good for me. I mean, now, you know, everything's so slim and so, you know, I mean, simple, and I think it's nice to have, you know, some hair. Do you like the way that hairdressers have been doing it at the shows? Um, some. <laughs> some. I mean, when you have a long hair, I mean, it's easier to do things. I mean, like, you know, this or, you know, crazy things. Deanne Fuller from San Francisco now lives in Paris. She's always had long hair, even when it was unfashionable. But she's glad it's back in fashion, and she loves the styles the hairdressers did at the spring shows. What was your favorite hairstyle out of, out of all of the ones you've had done this season? Oh boy, let me think. Montana I loved. I love the hair from Montana. They do it really slicked back with little waves up here and it was really original. So I liked it. The makeup was beautiful too. So it all went together really well. It was very dramatic. And that's how models on both